Well, hello there, everybody, and welcome to yet another Printify webinar. Thank you so much for joining me here in the dog days of summer. Uh, my name is Martin. It's my pleasure to be your host, and we have another winner for you because today we'll be talking all about eBay. And lucky for you, eBay has sent over a team of specialists to address your issues, your concern, answer all your questions that by the end of today's webinar, you're going to want to run right out and start selling your print-on-demand products on eBay. Okay, so uh, thank you very much for joining me. I have uh, from eBay today, uh, Romina Goldston, category lead for apparel. Also Austin Gould, who's a growth advisor. Uh, Megan Eustace, the, uh, a partner manager. And Gabby Doubleman, who is a limit, limit specialist. And we're gonna be covering their areas of expertise and having a whole lot of fun. Hello everybody, how are you guys doing today? Hi Marty, we're Hi. doing great. Very wonderful. excited to be here. Wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. We got a whole team and uh, all in the spirit of giving you everything you need to diversify and or start your uh, eBay store for your print on demand. So, all right, well, let's go right into it. But you know, is how, you know how we do it here at Printify. We like to give away prizes. So I'm gonna ask everybody to pay close attention to the topics covered in today's webinar because at the end, we're gonna ask you to fill out a post-event uh, survey and answer a trivia question based on the topics covered today. And uh, whoever answers that trivia question correctly, we will choose three random lucky winners to win a prize package. And that prize package is a Printify custom hoodie, a personalized Printify webinars mug, and $50 of Printify sales credit put directly into your Printify account. And also, eBay was nice enough to give us a little bit of a prize as well. Austin, tell us, tell our audience what that prize is. We are going to be offering and giving away a premium store subscription uh, for six months, which is the third level store and should help uh, by providing uh, internal tools at no cost. So uh, excited to be able to offer that. Excellent. Sounds like money in the bank to me. So... And also, at two points in today's, uh, today's presentation, I'm going to interrupt the conversation because I, I like to give away money. And I'm going to ask everyone out there to get your Printify accounts ready. Click on the uh, little green button, and from the drop-down menu, select Payments. And go down to where it says Coupons, because I'm going to give away a coupon code, and whomever enters it first will win $50 of Printify sales credit instantly placed into your account. So get your typing fingers ready. And I'm gonna invite everybody to join me for my live Q&A session. I do those on Mondays and Wednesdays, 100% free. Sit down with me, let's talk about print on demand, let's talk about Printify. And my only goal is to make you a more profitable and more knowledgeable merchant. Although I will be taking the next two weeks off for my summer vacation, but boom, we'll get right back to it at the beginning of August. So sign up and join me for a live Q&A session. Again, 100% free. Here's what we'll cover today. First, we're going to answer the question, why should you as a print-on-demand merchant sell on eBay? And also, we're going to talk about e eBay listing optimization and about boosting your visibility with eBay ads. And at the end, we will have a live Q&A session where, uh, where the eBay squad here will answer your questions. So put those questions into chat as you think of them. No need to wait until the end uh, and put them all in at once. Our moderator, Marta, will be uh, curating the chat and, um, and, and we'll answer those questions here at the end. So put those in, no problem. And thank you so much for all of, seems like all of Florida checking in. Uh, I appreciate that in England and the rest of you, we're gonna have ourselves a great time. But that's it from me. Let's go ahead, I'm gonna throw it to Ramina and she's gonna take it away and we're gonna talk about, and we're gonna talk about why you as a print on demand merchant should sell on eBay. Take it away. Thank you, Martin. Can you hear me okay? Yeah, go right ahead. Awesome. Okay. Well, uh, welcome everyone. It's great to have you here. My name is Romina and I lead the, uh, the clothing, shoes and accessories category at eBay US. I've been with eBay for almost four years and I've been selling on eBay myself for the past 10 years. First and foremost, we wanted to start this webinar with a big question, right? Why sell on eBay? eBay has 133 active monthly buyers, and it's one of the largest marketplaces worldwide and a favorite destination for discovering a broad inventory selection at really an amazing value. And what truly differentiates eBay from any other platform is that there really is very little that you cannot sell on eBay. 
While there are other platforms that tend to be a little bit more specific to just certain categories, uh, eBay really gives the seller the ability to sell everything from home decor, clothing, electronics, even parts and accessories, which is actually one of our largest category. Uh, and the best part is that you are contributing to the world sustainability efforts to reduce landfill. So that's always something that's very dear uh, and near to our hearts at eBay. Uh, so really, really like, just a win-win for everyone. And in my opinion, just amazing to witness how broad eBay's customers' interests are. And that's why I always uh, tell our sellers, like, don't worry, there's a customer for that on eBay. So uh, I hope it's the same for all uh, of you out there with your amazing inventory. Another great thing is that eBay is a global marketplace. So the possibilities really are endless and you can sell your inventory all around the world with confidence and trust. Um, one big misconception I'd say that we've heard from Printify sellers is that eBay is just an auction site. And when in reality, only 10% of the total sales on eBay are auctions and 90% are fixed price. We in general encourage sellers to try different tactics in their store because depending on the type of inventory uh, and condition, we see success on both auction as well as fixed price. And the great thing really about eBay is that you can easily try different pricing and promotional strategies within your store and react, I mean, instantly actually to your customer's behavior as you get to know them. I know in this audience, we have a lot of fantastic niche uh, inventory and I can assure you that uh, on eBay, you will be given all the tools to test and learn until you actually find the right strategy uh, to sell your inventory proficiently and make the most of it. Also at eBay, we pride ourselves to truly think about the seller. We are all about our seller community. We put a lot of resources out there to support them. And we work every day to bring our sellers technological enhancements and ideas to make their stores more profitable. That is why we offer the best in class a seller protection program actually backed by amazing technology with really the best and largest customer service team out of any other marketplace. And we are constantly improving our policies to ensure that you can sell with a lot of confidence. Going on to the next slide, and talking about apparel uh, in particular, which is my area of expertise on eBay, I like to get a little bit more into some category specifics to give you as an example. So to start off, 13.5 uh, is the final value fee for the clothing category. So that's extremely competitive and probably right now one of the lowest out of all our competitors. Uh, top five men's largest subcategories right now are coats and jackets, activewear, shirts, jeans and pants. And on the women's side, the largest ones are coats and jackets, tops, dresses, sweaters, and activewear. There's been a shift in the clothing business this past year post COVID, where customers are getting out the door and back into their offices, back into you know public gatherings and whatnot. Uh, that is why we're seeing these categories thrive so much right now. However, for example, our activewear and loungewear categories, as you can see, continue to perform steadily in both women's and men's. So this is, uh, you know, just past being a trend, I'd say, and being uh, just in, in general top performer category for eBay. And then getting into uh, pricing, um, the bulk of the clothing inventory on eBay is priced between $20 and $100. While there is still a big presence uh, on zero to 20, as well as 100 to 500, 20 to 100, I'd say it's the sweet spot, as you can see, based on the percentages. Now I'm going to pass it off to my colleague, Austin, who is an expert in listing, and will give you a rundown on optimization and tips and tricks to list proficiently on eBay. On to you, Austin. Hello, can everybody hear Hello. me okay? Yeah, we hear you. Yeah. Take it away, Austin. Wonderful. Thank you. Um, so looking at listing optimization, oh, background on me, uh, I've been with eBay for uh, 10 years, uh, everywhere from customer service to project management, uh, performance analytics. Uh, I've worked in a lot of different departments. Uh, and the reason that I like to run around and do all these things is because uh, I'm, I am a top rated seller on eBay, uh, continue to be and love it. Uh, big fan of the product, uh, big fan of the marketplace and um, happy to be here uh, presenting uh, to you all. So, um, Moving forward into starting your listing on eBay, 
Uh, it's a very generic way to start, but it's awesome because it simplifies how uh, you're going to approach your categorization. Uh, in this situation, it would be appropriate to just start with custom T-shirt, uh, for instance, in this. And it would bring you up templates of previously sold items that you can take from and use to help get your listing on quicker. It's super helpful and super easy, very intuitive. Um, and then moving on into the category option, uh, the next one, there's gonna be different categories you can choose. Uh, most of the time, if you select directly off of the start your listing, you're gonna land in the right category. You do have the option to promote in different categories, um, but the most refined category is gonna be similar items that you see of the items that you're trying to create yourself. So you have a good reference point from previously uh, previously listed items um, and actively listed items. Sorting by sold is helpful too, but that's that's another uh, that's another jump. Anyway, you're going to land in the right category, the category that uh, is going to be most successful uh, not only on eBay search uh, but on other external sites as well, Google Shopping uh, and ads, etc. Which is why you need to jump into the right category in the first place. But even more helpful is going to be. Uh, the information provided moving forward here for uh, optimizing your title. Um, go ahead to next slide. And we have title optimization where the recommended title structure is going to be available when you start your listing and you type in custom t-shirt, they're going to give you all kinds of previous listings that have successful title formats that you can just, I don't want to say steal, but uh, you take that and you use the former optimization of previous uh, listings to pull your own uh, listing up. It is, it is really uh, important that you use all the characters that you can um, in the title. Uh, you definitely want to include your brand, uh, the, the gender, the product type, the attributes, um, all those need to be in the title uh, if, if, you, if you can make, make that work. Um, it does leverage search and SEO a lot uh, directly just out of the title. So um, you can do a model number search, for instance, as you'll see, see on the slide there, uh, and it'll turn that data back to you to help you get your listing up. Um, now, in terms of making the best title that you can, um, <laughs> I like this one. Uh, go ahead to the next next slide. Um, we want to avoid using all capital letters, <laughs> which is something that is actually really funny uh, as it's conveyed as yelling. Uh, you know, you don't want to get yelled at to buy my new custom T-shirt or buy my new custom socks screaming at me. Um, it does not help. Um, it doesn't, I don't think, necessarily hurt, but I don't like yelling at people that are trying to buy items from me. Um, emojis do not help at all. Um, and again, you can take advantage of um, the structured data available and right in the onset of start my listing uh, to know what titles work and what's the most uh, congruent way to to get going. Um, on the next slide, you'll see a few examples of uh, effective title structures. So it gives you a little bit of context. Um, notice that uh, for apparel and clothing, um, which is pertinent to this, uh, Ann Taylor is in there immediately, uh, women's, uh, for the gender, it's a sweater and it's black size six. And there's different things that you can get in there to get to the 80 character limit. But the main thing is that's where you're starting. And, um, you're going to be able to start with a title like that just based off of what was previously available. Uh, and what other people have sold. Um, now, once you get the title and the the listing generated, um, you're going to be able to upload photos. Uh, all these all these different parameters will load in the listing form. Um, and if you move on to the next slide here for item specifics and description, uh, when we talk about so cross site search, uh, being able to be found on other websites that eBay has partnerships with. 
item specifics are super important. Um, as many as you can possibly fill in is what's going to allow this to be something that's not just available on eBay, but you know, you're on your favorite, I don't know, you'd be on your Facebook page or be on any social media or just be on a hobby page. And there will be an ad for your item as long as item specifics are as filled out as they can possibly be. Um, some of them aren't relevant, but some, most of them are. And we're always refining that uh, through our technology to make sure that it's as up to date as possible. I'll get into that a little bit more uh, on the next slide. And you can see a visual of what that looks like in the, in the listing form. You have Dan's eBay testing here as the brand. But main thing is on the, on the other side there, there are lots of different ways to refine exactly what you have to make sure that the, the, the buyer that is going to be looking for your item is able to find it as easily and as quickly as possible. Uh, everything from length to material to fit, some of these things don't necessarily need to be put in the title if you run out of your 80 character limit, right? You can just fill them into the item specifics and forget about it. That way it, it can still be searched and, and found. Um, yeah, the, the picture on the right is a good example of the item specifics and how important uh, those are. There's a lot of them. And as a growth advisor in my current role, I support sellers on the site that are already established and have already um, already have successful business models. And if a lot of them have been selling for years, this data is kind of new in terms of putting all these in. So a lot of my conversations right out, right out of the gate are, you really need to update your item specifics. It always results in an increase in traffic, always. Um, and it wasn't something that we did a lot of in the past. So anyway, getting as many of those in immediately is very important. That way you don't have to go back and do it. And you know that your listing is set up for success right, right away. Um, and on the next slide, you'll see that there's uh, pictures and what those parameters look like. You can add a lot of pictures. We recommend you utilizing the full free. I believe it's 12. Um, but there's a lot of uh, different, different ways that you can portray your item. The way that we recommend it is always going to be white background first. You can take every angle of it. Great. Um, as a company, we're always trying to figure out uh, the best way to portray an item uh, we're doing film studies we're doing three 3d scans all this all this stuff but just getting going white background plain image no complication is going to be your highest conversion um for the image right yep if you go to the next slide it tells you exactly what we recommend the 800 by 1600 recommended mi minimum five by five white or transparent. It's not required, but it is recommended and only show what you're selling. Uh, if that makes sense, don't, you know, put extras in there. Um, now for uh, tips around creating the best uh, picture that you can provide um, on the next slide, we want to be able to show the photographs, like I said, from all angles, close ups, front, top, sides, bottom, and the size is very important too, because what happens is uh, you have a, a feature on a lot of listings where if you hover over the image, it zooms in. So that's why the size has has a lot of importance. Um, but anyway, moving moving through that, um, got about a minute left here, uh, and I'm trying to cram a lot of data in. So excuse me if I'm going fast and I'm available for questions afterwards. Um, Pricing your items, I mentioned uh, sold item search. So on the left side, you can see in this image, uh, you have check boxes there on the bottom left. Uh, it looks like short sleeve. In that same section, if you if you were to scroll down a little bit, there would be an option to check off sold light items. And that would only return back sold items so that you could have an idea around what a competitive price starting point is for your product. Um, Super, super helpful. Um, another tool that we leverage is our TerraPeak tool. 
which is a technology that we purchased about three years ago. It tells you all kinds of wonderful things about titles, title building, how many have sold, how many uh, and for what price and about what time they sell. Um, it's it's a course all of it, all on its own. That was my timer. <laughs> uh, with, uh, free shipping. Um, free shipping is very important to conversion. Um, most people want free shipping. A lot of people are like, I can't afford free shipping. You can if you build it into your price. Uh, after you've sold enough, which a lot of you have, you have an idea of what is going to be uh, your shipping method for a majority of what you sell and how much it's going to cost. Throw that on your item total and offer free shipping. The conversion rates uh, are stellar for that. And there are people that only search for free shipping items because they don't want to fool with two costs, which makes sense to me. Um, along with the uh, what what we off, what we were uh, offering in terms of free shipping moving into the next slide here you have a different way you have different ways to leverage and offer um, engagement with your buyers so you can allow offers free shipping free returns but also putting stuff on social media is extremely useful um, it's kind of a newer thing for us, but if you have an Instagram, Facebook page, et cetera, you are able to post direct links to those items. They do cycle back to the site um, and the items are purchased from there. Um, and as you increase your business, you're allowed to send special offers to people that are watching or following your account, which will happen. Um, and I think that is about as much as I can cram into it, but thank you. And I'm looking forward to any questions that you'll have. Okay, wonderful. Yeah, make sure you submit those questions for Austin or any of our any of our guests today in the chat. And Austin, you can do, totally be forgiven for going a little bit over because your information is super important for everybody watching. And I think it's Thank important you. to to note that for all of you out there that are already selling on Etsy, it's um, since eBay is also a marketplace that there is a lot of crossover between what you're familiar with on how to list your products on Etsy with how to list those products on eBay, although it's different branding, although some of the functionality may be different, okay, you're not going into it blind. There's there's going to be a lot of of, uh, of 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 stuff on there that you're going to be very very familiar with. So making that transition or adding that uh, adding eBay as a layer, I think you'll be I think you'll be able to uh, to to manage just fine, okay. But uh, I do. Uh, like giving away some money. Uh, but before I do, I want to give everybody a heads up. This is just hot off the presses. Uh, I want to invite everybody to uh, join us for Printify Amplified, which is the first time in print-on-demand history that we'll be doing a, a live event. It'll be on September 14th. Mark your calendars now. There'll be more information to follow, but I want you folks out there to hear the news first. Printify Amplified, a new way of doing things online, bringing people together for uh, 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 informative discussions, bringing you uh, closer with industry leaders, and guaranteed you're going to have a great time. So uh, watch out for signups. Join us on September uh, 14th, and there's going to be a ton of prize giveaways, and not just little prizes, like big prizes too. So I hope to see you there. Okay. All right. So let's give away some money. Uh, what I'm going to ask everyone to do, take out your Printify accounts, click on the little green button on, from the drop-down menu, go to payments, and go to where uh, it says coupons, and prepare to enter today's First coupon code for $50 or Printify sales credit, and let us know if you won in the chat so we can all celebrate, okay? So, today's first coupon code is win with eBay. All right, written just like that, type it in. C good luck, congratulations to the winner, and if you didn't win, well, no worries, you'll have another chance later on in today's presentation, okay? Wonderful, all right, well, let's keep this train rolling. And Megan, I believe this is all you, right? Correct. Take it away. Yep. Awesome. Hi, everyone. Nice to meet you. I'm Megan. I have been with eBay a little over a year now, and I specifically work on our ads team. So kind of driving that visibility and making sure that you are your listings are seen and that we're driving sales to your store. If you want to go to the next slide. 
So you're probably wondering how you stand out on eBay. So that is where my team comes in. eBay has developed a variety of advertising solutions for sellers of all sizes to utilize to boost exposure and drive sales. Our goal is to provide different product options to best suit your needs. We have promoted listing products, which are split out into two separate focuses. We have promoted listing standard, which is a cost per sale model that pushes your listings across a hundred different places on eBay. Then we have our promoted listings advanced product, which focuses on the most premium placements within a given keyword search. Think above the fold first page visibility. This product is a CPC model, um, cost model. So you have full control over your daily budget and also have the ability to pick and choose how much those keywords mean to you. So if some say, for instance, we're looking at Nike hoodies and that is your keyword that you wanna own, then you can bid or set your cost per click at whatever rate you feel comfortable. We'll dive a little into each of these two products a little further. If you wanna to go to the next slide and then the next slide. So with promoted listing standard, this is essentially our bread and butter product. Um, most of our sellers who utilize this tool have seen on average 25% more clicks on their listings than on those listings that aren't being promoted. So really great numbers. Um, if you wanna to go to the next slide. With this tool, you can essentially think of it as a velocity and volume tool. It's a simple risk-free tool in the sense that you don't pay a fee until the item actually sells. And it's an easy to use, simple campaign setup. Next slide. Thank you. So with promoted listing standard, we have three options to suit your needs. We have our simple setup, which is great for those of you who really wanna be hands-on and set different strategies for different listings. We have our bulk upload option. So if you have a simple focus strategy for different categories or across the board, you can add all of those listings into a CSV file, upload it, set it, and then essentially forget it. So very hands-off type of approach, um, but very simple to use. And then lastly, we have our automated setup, which is my favorite setup. Um, it really gives you the option to set different product strategies, different campaigns with different parameters and guidelines. So for instance, if you have a variety of categories that you're focused on with different price points, you can really set up those campaigns at a granular level. And then from there, set up different ad rate strategies or different, um, different strategies across the board for those different listings. And what's great about this tool, it does allow for new listings to come in and automatically be added to these designated campaigns. So with our simple and bulk options, if you are adding new listings or introducing new products, you will have to manually go in and upload those new listings. But with the automated feature, you don't have to. So it's super simple, really easy to use. One thing too on this slide, you'll notice we do have an ad rate range call out. So the ad rate is essentially what you are willing to pay eBay to deliver that conversion and that sale. It's a percentage of the total sale price. So our bottom floor is 2%, but based off of your strategy and where you want to be, you can go all the way up to 100%. Um, you will also see too that we have different ad rate tools, um, really setting everything up to make it super simple and easy for you. Um, when looking at um, ad rate, you're probably wondering, how do I choose what my ad rate is? Well, eBay does provide you with what we call a suggested ad rate. Suggested ad rate is really just that. It's suggested, and it's based off of what we would deem to drive optimal performance. So you may see in one category, you'll see a suggested ad rate at 4%, another category, it may be a different percentage. So it really will vary based off of what's happening on eBay on the day to day. So as we see seasonality change, you'll see that reflected in the ad rates as well. All right, if you want to go to the next slide. With um, everything that we're trying to do with these ad products is to simplify your process and make everything easier so you can really continue your promotion strategy. 
As mentioned, we do have the automated campaigns, really easy to use, set it and forget it as well. It's a great option for those of you who have high turnover. So if you're moving through different listings really quickly, this will automatically pull them through any new listings and make it easy to set it and forget it. We do also have dynamic ad rates. So as mentioned, and as you can imagine, eBay is changing on the day to day. So you can come in and if you'd like to use a fixed ad rate, same ad rate across the board, you can absolutely choose to do that. But we've also introduced what we call a dynamic ad rate. With this, you would come in and you can essentially set a cap of what you're willing to pay. Let's say it's 5%. And then when the suggested ad rate does change on the day-to-day, -day -day, eBay will take care of everything else for you. So if one day it's 3.5% and then the next day it's 4%, eBay will do the, the adjustments for you and will never exceed your cap. So a lot of really great tools to use to make it simple. All right, if you wanna to go to the next slide. What's also great is you'll have full visibility into how your listings are, how the promotion is going via your ads dashboard. Here you will see we have different graphs and different KPIs there available for your use. You can also download very detailed summaries of performance for given time periods at any time. Um, we go back 13 months, so um, 13 months of full data, and you can go back and look at anything at any time. So if, say, for instance, today you want to see how performance was in March, you can go through and pull listing level data to really see how each individual listing pulled, how the whole campaign performed, and so on and so forth. So full visibility into how everything is performing. And you can toggle through different things. So if you want to see how your impressions are looking, how your sales are looking, how your clicks are going, then you can do so all within your dashboard. All right, next slide. Diving into Promoted Listings Advance, again, which is our CPC model. Um, this is a newer product, but it is performing very, very well. We on average or our sellers on average see 50% more sales with these type of promotion than compared to non-promoted items. So again, that visibility within that keyword search is really, really important um, and really, really high conversion as well. So if you go to the next slide. There's a lot of similarities with Promoted Listing Standard and Promoted Listings Advance in terms of the setup and the process, but with Promoted Listings Advance, again, you're really focused on that keyword search. So it gives you that opportunity to show up earlier on in the shopper's journey and um, get that high visibility top of search um, exposure. With the Promoted Listings Advance product, you do have full control of your budget. So if say, for instance, you are setting up a campaign and you're focused on shoes, you can set your daily budget at $10 or at $100. It's really completely up to you. And you can go in on the day to day and change that. So if it were kind of coming up on a key retail moment, say Cyber Week, and you really want to up your strategy, up your budget to really drive it home, you can go in and edit anything on the day to day basis. With this product, it is the CPC model and it is set up in a second auction or second price auction. So if you come in, you would bid what that keyword means to you. So say for instance, it's 50 cents, but then I come in and I bid 75 cents, I would essentially win that auction. And then you would pay anywhere between what that second price bid was, that second highest price bid to that highest bid, but you will never exceed your bid. Um, so a lot of, a lot of variation there, but, um, full control over that daily budget and what that keyword means to you. You can set up multiple keywords. You can set up five keywords, um, per listing. It really is what matters to you for that specific grouping. If you go to the next slide. Similar to promoted listing standard, we do have two different campaign setups. Um, available for you. So our manual option would be if you are very familiar with CPC and keyword setups, then you could come in here, you could set everything up on your own, pick the different budget, pick the listings you want to include, and then set up the ad groups, which essentially is a sub campaign within a campaign. 
Um, it's an organization of your listings, and then you pick the keywords that are associated with those listings, set your bids, and then you can launch the campaign. If you're newer to the product, newer to CPC, we have what we call quick setup. So if you come in and you say you want to focus on your top performers, your top performing listings, then you can come in, do the quick setup, select those listings, and then eBay will do all of the organization and setup for you from there. So we will set your dates, the budgets, we'll set up the ad groups accordingly, and then we will um, have a review page for you to come in, see how everything looks, and then you can set it live and launch it. So very simple, two different options based off of what your store needs are. Next slide, please. And then, of course, keywords within the CPC, also um, very specific. Uh, we're getting a little more detailed here, but we have a lot of opportunity for you to really tailor your strategy. So if you really want to hone in on a category, you could use a broad match type within your keyword focus. If you want to be phrased, get a little bit, It's I like to say it's broader um, than exact, then you could do that. And then, of course, exact. So if you want someone to come in and specifically search a specific keyword, let's say pink sweatshirt, then they would have to type that in word for word. So you can be very specific in terms of how you're targeting these keywords and what they mean to you um, and grow your strategy using a combination of all of them. And then I think that is it from me. I know I threw a lot of information your way, but I will pass it back to you, Martin. Yes, we're throwing a lot of information at you, but the good news is, is that this, uh, this webinar will live in perpetuity on the live section of our YouTube channel. So please feel free to revisit this as much as you like. We're gonna have some uh, helpful links, uh, like our uh, selling on eBay guide that we put together here at, at Printify. Maybe we'll pop that into the chat right now, but stuff like that you'll find pinned in the description of this video. So please feel free to go through this, pause it on those screens, and while you're at our YouTube channel, go ahead and and hit subscribe, okay? Wow, thank you so much for all that stuff. And uh, before we go into our uh, Q&A section, because I think we got quite, I'm just scanning the uh, chat here as we go through. We got a lot of questions today to go through, and we, we're gonna make sure that we answer as many as possible. But I'm a man of my word. I told you that I would give you another opportunity to win some money, and let's do that. Okay. And now just remember, you won't see any bells or whistles saying, oh, congratulations, you won, or sorry, you lost. Okay. Um, all, all that's going to happen is you're going to put in that code. If you are the winner, then you will just get $50 put immediately into your account. And if you do not win, it'll say this coupon code doesn't exist because, well, we only created one of them because we're not giving you all 50 bucks. Okay. But uh, that, that would defeat the purpose of the whole contest. So Go ahead and navigate, hitting the little green button, uh, go to the payment section, go down to where it says coupon code and prepare your fingers to type as quickly as possible because we are gonna announce the, the code right now. And that code is POD Empire, as in, Consider adding eBay as an additional store to your Printify account. Add another layer of, uh, of uh, uh, as a sales channel to diversify your business. You can add up to five Printify stores to a single Printify account. Therefore, if you're paying for Printify Premium, you'll cover all of those stores uh, under that one account and manage them all conveniently from one place. And if you are a Printify Premium member, you can add up to 10 stores. So this is a great way to build your POD empire and really achieve your goals. Uh, start an Etsy store, replicate that, uh, that successful business model by opening another Etsy store, take it to Shopify, add eBay as, as a layer onto there to take advantage of yet another, another awesome marketplace using the skills and tips and tricks that, are th that the eBay crew gave to you today and therefore building your POD empire further, okay? Wonderful. All right, just one more plug. I'd uh, like to invite everybody to join me for my live Q&A sessions that I do on Mondays and Wednesdays. Please feel free uh, to join me. Again, 100% free. I love sitting down with you, loving to, love to see where the, where, where the conversation goes. We do store audits, we do keyword research, things like that. And speaking of keyword research, 
Now, if you're looking for keywords for your, for your eBay store, now you can find those on any of those uh, keyword research uh, tools out there like, like E-Rank, okay? It's not, just for, it's not just for eBay. You can set those to any of those marketplaces, specifically eBay. So use those tools the same way you use them uh, to find your keywords for, for, your, for, for your Etsy store, to find keywords for your eBay listings, okay? Wonderful. All right, well, let's go ahead and move on to the live Q&A portion of today's, uh, today's discussion. Guys, thank you so much uh, for, for your presentation. Um, are you ready to answer some questions? I'll take that as a yes. Yes. Let's Moving try. on. All right. Um, so um, before we do, I have a question of my own because uh, I, I, I know this is something that comes up a lot when working with merchants that, uh, that, uh, that I've worked with in the past, and that is these limits. Okay. Now, as you start off as a new seller, uh, people run into these limits. What's what about the limits? What about account suspension? Gabby, can you can you fill us in on that? Yeah, I can jump in there. Hi, everyone. I'm Gabby Gettleman. I've been with eBay for um, going on ten years next month. Um, every role I've been in has something to do with limits, so I'm a limit specialist. Um, everyone on eBay has limits, uh, selling limits, uh, big and small. It's not a one size fits all approach. Everyone's gonna be, uh, have, have something else starting, uh, whether you are um, just coming, starting for the first time or you have a big business, we can um, take that information, evaluate it and set um, limits that hopefully you're comfortable with, but um, everyone has them. It's um, a process we put in place to ensure that you aren't growing too big too fast. Um, you're not getting overwhelmed and ultimately to ensure you are creating the best possible buying experiences. Um, the limits, the way they, they work is uh, with Printify specifically, um, say you're listing a shirt and every item is going to count towards the limit. So if you have one shirt, but you're listing five colors, that's going to count five against your limit. Um, so with these sellers specifically, you're probably going to run into your limits faster based on the various SKUs you're offering. So what we would recommend starting out, um, if you do have uh, a lower limit or something that, like not pie in the sky, um, starting with two, maybe two SKUs, a couple different ones, get yourself going, build up that sales history. Um, and then once the sales history goes, uh, well, eBay also reviews accounts on a monthly basis and does... Uh, um, automatic increases for a lot of sellers. But if that doesn't happen, you're welcome to call in, chat us, email as long as the account is going well. Can I add one more thing, uh, picking back off of uh, Gabby, is the, that we have some processes in place, uh, especially for Printify sellers, where we are reviewing uh, listing limits way more often than the normal because we really really want all of you to come join us so we have a process in place where, where we are actively trying to turn around listing limits as fast as 48 to 72 hours so hope that encourages you know that we really care about you and we want you to come join us so we are putting a lot of effort into making sure that you're not running into so many listing limits and thanks to gabby we have a process in place with the Printify team, so hopefully we can help uh, in that sense. Wonderful. And if, and if I can piggyback on what you just piggybacked on, I just want to say that eBay has a wonderful support team, very timely. You can reach out to them and they can, they'll be able to solve your issues. You can reach out to them in multiple ways, whatever is most convenient for you. So if you have any questions, any concerns, reach out to the super helpful folks there at eBay and they will be glad to assist. Okay. Wonderful. All right. Well, let's get into today's first question. And that comes to us from Anoush Karaman. Uh, thank you very much for joining us, Anoush. Um, uh, and Anoush's question is, is it compulsory on eBay to offer free returns on items? Who wants to take that one? Austin, you want to take it away? Sure. Um, yes. Uh, it's going to inspire your buyer uh, to have a lot more confidence when they go to purchase your item because they know they're not going to have a, some type of haggle. Now, the difference too, uh, some it's not a requirement, um, but 
we do encourage the free returns. Uh, if you do uh, uh, even an average job of describing your items, your return rate is going to be relatively low anyway. Um, but the free returns definitely gives the buyers a lot more confidence to go ahead and purchase the item. And um, in today's you know competitive commerce and retail environment, um, it's it absolutely makes a difference, not only for uh, the buyer's confidence, but for uh, any type of SEO that's going on uh, to return an item that they're, you know, that the buyer's looking for. Um, every every uh, browser is going to prefer that. Every uh, website is going to prefer that. And we encourage it as well. Okay. But uh, from the Printify perspective, let's... Uh, uh, uh that uh, any item that arrives that, uh, that is misprinted or your customer orders a large and a medium arrives, uh, we'd be, we, we stand behind that. And in a lot of cases, if you just offer your customer the opportunity, just, hey, I'll send you a free replacement, or uh, then that's going to be a lot less hassle than facilitating a, a return process. Your customer gets, uh, gets the item that you want, and everyone's happier across the board. Okay, wonderful. Let's move on to our second question. Okay, um, from, come from Donald Thomas. Hello, Donald. Good to see you again. Uh, can I, his question is, can I, as a merchant, designate a certain amount of money to go to a charity for each dollar spent? How does that work? Well, I, you want me to do it again? <laughs> yeah, yes, you can. You can go from uh, small percentages to complete, uh, and we don't charge uh, fees on complete. Um, if you do 100%, it all goes to your charity. Um, you would just need to make sure that the charity is listed um, in the forum uh, that we provide. You can find it just by searching uh, eBay registered charities, of thousands of them. Well, wonderful. Big on wonderful. There you go. You get to uh, do a good deed and uh, 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 all, all, and the proceeds will go to a worthy cause. That's absolutely wonderful. I actually didn't know about that. That's actually really, really cool. Okay. Um, the next question comes from Jessica Vance. Thank you, Jessica. Uh, when creating an eBay account to sell, should I create a business account or a personal account? They're going to be. Well, that really, that really depends on the size, right? Austin, do you want to take in, like get into it? <laughs> yeah, no. I mean, they're going to get tired of hearing from me. <laughs> um, I don't think so. Go ahead. Well, I, there's. <laughs> There's uh, when you create a business account, you're, uh, it makes it a little bit easier from a reporting standpoint when it comes to the end of the year. You do have a register to you do you do have the opportunity to register your, um, your employee ID, uh, state tax ID, um, things like that. But ultimately, uh, it doesn't matter if you're going to be claiming income. It can be done on both. Um, if you want to keep things anonymous, uh, go business. Uh, if you don't care to say, hi, I'm Austin Gould and I'm selling stuff and here's my address, go personal. Well, there you go. Sounds like you have a choice to make, uh, Jessica. Um, wonderful. Moving on. Uh, the next question comes from the produce aisle. The produce aisle asks, how do I set up customer discounts on eBay? I mean, that's, that's a great question. I can take that one if you want. Um, there's multiple channels or multiple ways to go about it, but the great thing is, Part of Austin's presentation, which is Promotions Manager, right? There's a tool on uh, the seller hub called Promotions Manager, which allows every single seller to create all sorts of promotions. Um, you know, by just owning an eBay store, you are entitled as a seller to all these two promotional tools and it 100% boosts your business. You can test and learn and do different things. Uh, think of like just, you know, a Macy sale, right? Like extra 20% off with promo code SUMMER or buy one, get one 50% off. Uh, we have very like all sort of different types of promotions and you can just like start them and end them whenever you want. Try all different things and see what works best for you and your customer. But really uh, the possibilities are endless and we see so much success. You know, we work with uh, sellers from enterprise sellers to small sellers. And we see that every single type of promotion works different for every single seller. We have plenty of them out there and it really depends on each type of inventory that we're talking about, time of the year, seasonality, 
retail moment, right? Marketing, like what's happening in, uh, in the world? Like, are we on holiday season? Like what's going to work best? Like you can really just start testing things before holiday season comes, just try out different things until you click and you find something that works for you. But again, go into promotional promotion manager tool on the seller hub, take a look at all the opportunities, all the different ones you have available and just try them and see uh, what, what makes more sense. Wonderful. Okay. Uh, the next question comes from Hudson Valley Marketplace, and this is a good one. Okay. Um, if I open a new shop on eBay for your print for his Printify products, will it affect his existing eBay account since they'll be the same IP address? That's what's holding him back. Limits. Gabby, do you want to take that one? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I was like, I, I could I could take that one. Um, no, that wouldn't hold you back at all. Uh, the only way that that would potentially cause an issue is if your main account currently was experiencing issues performance issues or whatever what have you um they would be um ip isn't a super strong link but yes they would be linked and depending on i mean both accounts would we would want to be performing well um if one does experience issues it doesn't necessarily mean the second one is going to experience the same same ones or the same restrictions it all depends but no ultimately no it's not going to have a, a major impact well, there you go. We're creating a new one. There you go. It's not holding you back anymore. So good luck. Okay. Uh, the next question comes from Michelle Lathan. Uh, thank you, Michelle, for your question. Uh, her question is, when I try to make uh, corrections to a variable listing, uh, I get the error that I can't make changes to a listing that's already had a sale. How do you fix that? Austin, you want to take that one? Yeah, there is you can't make a change to a listing that's already had a sale. Uh, there's, as long as it's a multiple, multiple quantity listing, that shouldn't be the case. Okay. Um, I would need to see the specific scenario to really understand what's going on there. But uh, the only way that we don't allow changes is if you're running an auction or a best offer and the auction has a bid or the best offer uh, has already been submitted or is pending. Okay. So, so it could be a couple different things. Uh, uh, Michelle, reach out to uh, eBay support and hopefully they'll be able to get you the answers uh, specifically that you're looking for. Okay. Um, Lee Graham asks, will eBay UK sellers be able to do this? Can we sell on eBay US if we live on the UK? And if so, how? Well, I can tell you from the Printify side of things, not yet. Okay. Unfortunately, uh, eBay, e uh, eBay is limited on the Printify side of things to the United States only. Now, that will hopefully change in the future. I can't give you a timeline as to when, um, but hopefully sooner rather than later so you can start sharing your products worldwide. Okay. Um, moving along to iCreate1234, and their question is, uh, I am an established seller on eBay, but my POD products are getting zero views. I've optimized the title and input keywords. Why am I not getting views? Um, I would need to know if we're utilizing the promotional tools um, that are available, uh, such as the some of the things we were talking about, like promotional codes, coupons, uh, buyer engagement, follower, uh, follower engagement. Uh. There could be many reasons, right? But the reality is that if there's something that's not clicking, then you have to go and I mean, re like reutilize or utilize your promoted listings. It really is a tool that I cannot recommend enough as a, you know, e uh, working at eBay internally, the amount of success that we see on sellers of all sorts of sizes, colors, like really doesn't matter if you utilize your promoted listings correctly or just utilize them at all and just try them on, you'll see an instant boost. So, this is just, you know, coming as also, you know, I'm an eBay customer, the way I use it, you know, sometimes maybe the type of item that you have, there's so many of them, right? It's something that's very generic or um, yeah, just like there's so many of them. Why is the customer going to pick yours versus the other ones? Maybe they don't even get to yours because there's 20 others that are on top that are being promoted. So the customer doesn't even get to yours, right? That's very frustrating, but that's why we really have these amazing promoted, 
promotion tools that Meg spoke about where, uh, I mean, at first you, you're not even going to pay until it's the customer actually, you know, buys it. So you're not even putting money up front with promoted listing standard. So I would highly recommend just give it a try. Um, hopefully that will help you see um, some success there. Okay, so do yourself a favor, I create one, two, three, four. As soon as this webinar is over, it's gonna go up on our, in the live section of our YouTube channel. Rewatch Megan's part and pay attention, take notes, and uh, hopefully apply that and then get your listing selling, okay? So um, let's, let's do one more. Let's move on to the last question, okay? Uh, the last question comes from Bonnie P, okay? Uh, Bonnie has a question. Uh, it is, when I ship on eBay, I ship same day or next day, which, e which eBay expects us to do. How do I address the shipping issue with the Printify delay? And uh, by, by Printify delay, I think they mean the processing time before it, before it enters uh, shipping. Day. Yeah. Is it? Yeah. So um, you would just incorporate that into the handle time on your listing. But I mean, if you want to absolutely ship same day, one day, you're going to have to understand what's going to sell and list that in the forefront if you want to have a same day turnaround. Uh, if okay. that makes sense. Well, um, there you I'm go. Sure else contribute to. Wonderful. Okay. Well, thank you for everyone that submitted a question. My apologies if we didn't have time to get to your question, but we are going to call it quits. And this has been an absolute joy for me. As an old school eBay, uh, eBay seller myself, this is where I started my love of side hustling with eBay way back in the 90s, showing you how, how old I am. But uh, I, I always thought this was kind of a, a, a cool trivia question. Austin, tell us what the first item sold on eBay was. Uh, it was a broken laser pointer, and not even a functional laser pointer, a broken laser pointer. It sold for just over $14. Um, you know, Piero Midyar was very curious as to who on planet Earth bought this broken laser pointer. And he immediately found a collector of broken laser pointers when listing the item on auction, auction web, which is what the site was initially called. So the whole eBay empire started with a broken laser pointer, if you can believe it. And look what it's turned into now, okay? So wonderful folks, thank you so much for joining us. Take in this information, take it on board, really give it a hard consider whether or not to uh, 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 add eBay as a layer to your already existing POD structure. Again, building that empire piece by piece. Uh, feel free to rewatch this, uh, rewatch this episode on our live section. Check out the links in the, in the description. But uh, I'm going to ask everybody right now, okay? We're going to put a link into our post-webinar survey in right now. Click that link, answer the trivia question based on today's presentation. I hope you were paying attention because you will be, uh, be, get, be eligible to win. Three lucky winners will be eligible to win a Printify Webinars hoodie, print, print, personalized Printify Webinars mug, and $50 of Printify sales credit put directly into your account, as well as, Austin, tell us what that prize was again. Uh, six months of a premium store, which is a $60 monthly value. Uh, it's going to give you the ability to list 10,000 listings a month. Um, and uh, we're going to give you 180 days of it. So happy to happy to provide that. Again, money in the bank. So do that right now. Thank you so much for joining us. And uh, Romina, Austin, Megan, Gabby, thank you so much for taking time out of your day to share your, uh, to share your information with our audience. And audience, it's now on you. Okay, eBay, you've got everything you need. Get to work, and thank you so much for joining us, and we'll see you next time. Bye, everyone.